Just try this out for a second with me. If you felt stressed and worried and anxious at all today, ask yourself this question. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to create certainty in a world where it seems like there's a whole hell of a lot of uncertainty right now. And I think this is important because if you look at what's going on in the world right now, it looks like the world's going to hell in a handbasket, doesn't it? It looks like there's just more uncertainty and more uncertainty and more uncertainty. And then the next week, there's another freaking thing that happens. And then after that thing's done, there's another freaking thing that happens. And then there's, you know, there's COVID that comes up and then there's the Delta variant and then there's stuff that's happening in Afghanistan. And I bet you next week, there's going to be another thing. So there's a lot of things that are happening. I'm not trying to downplay any of these in any sort of way. What I'm actually trying to do is make it more peaceful inside of your brain and inside of your body so that no matter what happens, you are calm, cool, connected, and you know what it is that you need to do. So we're going to talk about how to create certainty in your life. And like I said, with all of the stuff that's happening right now, you know, with, with COVID happening, what seems like, what are we at? Like 18 months in or something like that, it feels like. I don't, I don't know. It's a long time it's been, right? Who knows what's gonna happen? Who knows if it's gonna go away? Who knows if it's not going to go away? Who knows if it's going to continue to morph and change? Who knows if it's gonna disappear? I don't know. I'm not a freaking scientist. And a lot of the scientists, I don't think even know what's going on. It's just, everybody's just kind of uncertain with it, right? But one thing that I am certain in is what I'm gonna tell you about in just a little while. When you look at all the things that's happening over in the Middle East, it's a lot of uncertainty. And you can look at it and it can make you feel terrible and it can break your heart. And that's not bad. There's, it's okay to have your heart break for other people and to see things that are happening. But the thing that I come back to is that people see, keep saying, well, something keeps happening, something keeps happening, something keeps happening. It's like, it never stops. And I say, can you remember a time in your entire life where there wasn't something bad that was happening? or wasn't something bad that was being put on the news. I can't remember anything. I'm 35 years old. I don't remember a time when I turned on the news and it was like, hey, everything's amazing. We have nothing to report today except for that the dogs went out and played with their toys. I'm like, holy sh today's amazing. Like I've never seen that happen before, right? There's always something. And guys, there's 7.5 billion people on this earth. Of course, there's gonna be some crazy stuff that happens, but I am 100% sure of one thing. There's a lot more good people in this world than bad people. I can't think of a time where there wasn't a lot of stuff that's ever happened, that's been happening. But before we dive into the uncertainty and how to meet your uncertainty with absolute certainty, to calm yourself down, to have the peace and the joy, and to be able to take the actions you need to, to make your life better, but also make your family's life better, your community's life better, and the world around you better as well. Before we dive into that, it's a good thing to talk about, you know, what you consume. And you've heard me talk about this before if you've been listening for a while. But if you're dealing with a lot of uncertainty, and then uncertainty is giving you anxiety and stress, and it's keeping you up at night, I promise you one thing that you need to do is stop watching the news because the news is just going to keep putting up more terrible things and more terrible things and more terrible things and the news is just they're just a couple corporations that are owned by media companies and they can tell you whatever the hell they want to tell you and they can change it however they want to whether it's on the left side whether it's on the right side whether it's in the middle all of that stuff your life will be better if you stop listening to the news your life will also be better if you start unfollowing more people Right? If somebody's too political or somebody's too doom and gloom or somebody is, if, if you look at somebody's Instagram story and it makes you feel worse, unfollow that person now. One thing that I've been doing a lot over the past two weeks is unfollowing a ton of people because I just don't even want to deal with it anymore. And they're people that I'm pretty good friends with. And I see them pretty often, some of them, but I'm like, mm, nope, your stories don't make me feel better about my life. You gotta go. Right? That's just the way that it is. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So, you know, before we dive into the uncertainty, I just want you to, to think about the, the news and the politics and the doom and gloom and the people who you need to unfollow. Remove those things from your life and your life will automatically, you'll find more peace automatically because you don't have those people pulling at you and trying to pull your intention. You need to have a peace filter, I like to call it. I have a filter. If you think about like, you know, whenever you're making coffee, right? And you have that filter, it holds all of the coffee. The coffee grinds and it lets the coffee and the water drip through. I want to be like a filter like that and all of the coffee grinds are just all of the that I don't need to be seeing because it's holding me back from creating the world that I want to. So you need to have some sort of peace filter. What does that look like to you? I don't know. That's what you need to plan out. So you can ask yourself a beautiful question. You could pause me now if you need to and answer it. What does my peace filter look like? What does it look like for me to create that? Unfollow as many people as you can. Take the TV off the wall. Do whatever it is that you need to. 
to make there be more peace in your life. So the way to find more certainty in this world is this. Now, you need to match the uncertainty in the world with certainty in yourself. And you might be like, well, no, sh I need to take uncertainty and I need to match my uncertainty with certainty and that will make me feel more certain. No crap, that makes a whole lot of sense, of course. But I don't mean in the external world. I mean internally. You know, if you have stress and anxiety or just this heaviness or this pressure that you've been feeling over the past few months or year or year and a half, right? If you have those, most of the time, the reason why you have that stress, why you have that anxiety, why you feel that weight is because you're focusing and thinking about things that you cannot control. And this is very important because today we're going to talk about what you can control versus what you can't control. And so if you feel a lot of stress and anxiety and worry, it's because you're thinking about things that you cannot control. So if you look at COVID, for instance, you can't control COVID. I can't control it. I can't control what it's doing. I can just kind of do my best as all of this stuff is happening and I can take care of myself. That's the best that I can do at this point. I can't control it. So it's gonna do what it's gonna do. And I'm gonna hope for the best. You can't control COVID. So if you're feeling stress and anxiety, is it coming from that and what's happening in the world? You also can't control other people. Are you trying to control other people? Are you on one side and you wish the people on the other side would do something? Or are you on the other side wishing the people on the, the other side of that would do something and you're just trying to control people? You will have stress and anxiety when you're focusing on trying to control things that you cannot control. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you could do about other people. There's nothing you could do about COVID. There is something that you could do about yourself though. And that's where the certainty comes in. Anxiety comes from the future as well. Thinking about what the future could be. Thinking about how uncertain the future is. Thinking about the doom and gloom that could be waiting for us in the future. Oh my God, it could be so bad in the future. It could, but it's not here now. So why am I making my present moment that isn't bad bad because I'm focusing on a future moment that might never even come to fruition. Well, that's really crazy, isn't it? Have you ever thought about that? Why am I ruining a beautiful present moment by focusing on a future that just might never happen? And in fact, there was a study that was done and found out that 85% of what humans worry about never happen. Let me say that again. 85% of what humans worry about never actually happen. Are you focusing on things in the future? that might never happen? Well, of course that's gonna cause you stress and worry and anxiety. Do you know why it's caused you stress, worry, and anxiety? Because the future is not here, which means it is another thing that you cannot control. We get stressed and anxious and worried when we're focusing on things that we cannot control. You can't control what's going on. You can't control what happens tomorrow. You can't control what happens in three months. For me, I'll give you a perfect example. My girlfriend and I, we have tickets. We've had tickets for three months now to go to Italy for all of October. It looks like it might happen, it might not happen. It went from definitely happening to about 50-50 with all of the changes. I don't know what's gonna happen. And at one point in time, my girlfriend was stressing out about it, like, oh my God, I wanna go so bad, I wanna go so bad, are we gonna be able to go? Because usually we go for about a month every year. We obviously couldn't go last year. Our flights were canceled. We had flights booked for April, <laughs> obviously. We couldn't travel anywhere in April of 2020. So then we pushed it back and we, we, we started, we, you know, got tickets for October of last year. That didn't happen as well. So now we got tickets for this October. It might happen, it might not. And what I said to her is, what's gonna happen is what's gonna happen. Why would I ruin my current moment right now, this beautiful day, the sun shining, and there's not problems that are immediately right here in my present moment. Why would I ruin right now thinking about something that might or might not happen in the future? Do I hope that it happens? Yeah, of course I hope that it happens. Is there a possibility that it might not? Yeah, but I'm not the controller of the universe. I'm not the person in charge of all of these things that are happening. All I can do is I can control the way that I feel right now. We can focus on the present moment. And when we start to feel anxious and stressed and worried, it's usually a fear mechanism that we have in our brain. There's some sort of fear, something there. And we're worried about our safety in some sort of way a lot of times. And so an easy way to help yourself when you notice yourself start to flare up with stress and anxiety and worry is just ask yourself a very simple question. Just try this out for a second with me. If you felt stress and worried and anxious at all today, ask yourself this question. Right now, am I safe? And think about that and let it sink in for a second. 
and feel it in your body. Right now, am I safe? You are. Right now, there's nothing wrong in this present moment. There might be something in the future that could be wrong or might be coming up. You might be saying, Rob, I have bills coming up that I have to pay next week and I'm not sure how I'm gonna pay them. You don't have to pay them right now. In this moment, am I safe? The answer for all of you hopefully is yes. And if I could come from a place of certainty of who I am and how I can go into the world and not uncertainty and not based in fear or any stress or worry or anxiety, I'm probably going to go out and take actions that are more in line with being able to make the money to be able to cover my bills that are coming next week. So you've got to realize that there's uncertainty in the future because we don't know what's going to happen with the future, but there's certainty in ourselves and in this present moment. If you're stressed about the present moment or the future, you can't control it. If you're stressed about COVID, you can't control it. You can't control any of those things. All you can do is take care of yourself today. If you're stressed about COVID, you can't control what's gonna happen in the future with it. What you can control is how you take care of your body today. I can create certainty in the way that I'm caring for my body. And in fact, I'm getting the right amount of sleep. I'm taking the right supplements, that I'm getting the right amount of sun, that I'm getting everything that I need to in order to, if I do happen to get it, hopefully battle it much better than if I wasn't taking care of myself. That's something I could create certainty in. The workouts you do, the food you eat, the supplements that you take, you know? Eat healthy, get movement, get some sun on your skin, drink really high quality water, get the, the you know, the meditation in, breathe more, deeper, calm yourself, get a lot of sleep, meditate, stop stressing so much, take supplements that are gonna help you. That's something that is certainty. You can create certainty in this current moment with the way that you take care of yourself. You don't know what's going to happen in the future. That is going to create as much certainty as you possibly can right now. So what do you need to create certainty in? If you've been feeling stress, worry, anxiety, any of that, what do you need to create more certainty in? You can't create certainty in the future or what's going to happen with other people, but you can't create certainty in you and what you do right now. If you're uncertain with your life path, that's okay. But what you can be certain in is your personal development. I don't know what's gonna happen in my future, but I know I've been working on myself really hard for a long time, 16 years now. And I have a feeling that whatever bad could come to me in my future, I'll be able to overcome it much better than if I hadn't been working on myself for the first, last 16 years. What about you? How's your personal development? How's your mental health? How's your physical health? Those are things that we can be certain in. We can create certainty in those things because we can control those things. Your personal development, your mindset, and your health, those are the foundation to your life, to the way that you go out into the world. For me, I want to prepare my mind, my body, everything, as if there's a possible war, not physical war, but actually like mental war that's coming up into the future, and I wanna be as prepared as possible. If you knew that you absolutely had to go in to fight somebody inside of a cage in six months, and there's no way out of it. Would you just let it happen and just wait till the day comes? Or would you go, well, if I have to do it, I'm gonna freaking train anyways. Even if I've never trained before, I'm gonna train. Why? Because I can create certainty that I've showed up as much as I possibly could by the time I get into that ring. That's the way that I prep for life. You know, it's like David Goggins. A lot of people make fun of David Goggins for how crazy he is, and he is quite crazy. He is really, really hardcore. But when people say, hey, why do you put yourself through so much hell? Why do you push yourself so much? Why do you, you know, run 200 miles in a weekend when you literally could just sit and watch TV the, the entire time? He says he's preparing for life. He's preparing for what could come up. He's preparing for a possible 4 a.m. phone call in the middle of the night where they say his mother's dead and how he's going to overcome that mentally. And he knows that if he pushes himself now and pushes himself, pushes himself now, the better he'll be able to handle that whenever that potential thing does come up in the future. You know, so you can make yourself stronger right now, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, by the work that you put into yourself. That is what, that is the only thing that you can really be certain in. So there's a lot of uncertainty externally in the world. I don't think that we're gonna to get to the end of your life and have any less uncertainty than we currently have. It's just gonna keep, we're always gonna have uncertainty. I feel like there's always been uncertainty. External, that's always gonna be uncertain because you can't control anything external. But internal, what can you control? What can you create more certainty in? What is your life, where in your life is there calling for you to be more certain, for you to create more certainty? Is it your mind? Is it your body? Is it your health? Is it relationships? Is it your finances? Is it your mental stability? Is it your family? Where is your life calling for more certainty? 
because there's only a small amount of things that you can control. But if you focus on those things, what you'll realize is that your stress, your worry and anxiety about everything externally goes down so much because you are now prepared to enter the world, to enter the battle of life because you can't go through scar this, this entire life without some sort of scars. You're going out and being able to be prepared for battle because you've been working on yourself. You've been working on yourself. You've been working on yourself. So the question I have for you is, are you working on yourself in the way that you need to? Are you creating as much certainty as you need to? Are you creating certainty in your surroundings? The people that you surround yourself with, the food that you have inside of your house, the water that you drink and that's inside of your house as well. Could you drink from a faucet? Yeah, sure. Could you go and actually purchase spring water, which could be better for you and have more minerals? Yeah, you could. You can create certainty in a lot of things around you in your immediate environment. What is it that you need more certainty in? All you have to do is realize that the uncertainty in the world will not go away. But you have a small amount of things that you can create certainty in. Figure out what those are, figure out what you need to do to create more certainty, make an action plan, and start to actually take action in those to create certainty in your life. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. Too many people are ruining a beautiful present moment by bringing a shitty past moment into a beautiful present moment. Your past happened. You can't change it.